everybody, Kiari here, back with some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I still don't know how to get that present. I want that present. Um, anyways, we're here in Rogueport. I know it's been a while since I've played, so I kind of forgot what I was doing. We're here in Rogueport. I think I have to go in this pipe. Oh yeah, last thing I remember is I talked to this guy. I forget what he is, but... The chest is from late game? Okay, cool. Good to know. I, I was afraid I would be missing it. Do I have to go in here, or do I have to... Hold on. I don't even know what I'm doing. Do I have to go this way? What was in the pipe? The pipe is how we got the airplane mode, right? Oh god. <laughs> My bad. Um, I forgot you could slip and fall. The pipe is how we got access to airplane mode, right? You have to go in the pipe and search the other pipe? Okay, I thought I already went in here. I mean, I probably did, but they probably want us to go back in, right? Alright, let's see. I definitely have been in here before. Do I have to go in that pipe? Like, we know where the thousand year door is. That's what we found out, right? Oh, we have to go this way? I think we have to go this way. Cause I don't think I've gone this way before. Oh god! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot how to uh, fly. Apparently, my bad. <laughs> I forgot to fly. Um. Okay. Well, that's fine. Power smash. Powerfully smash a foe. Sure. Hold left and then release it. You got it. Nice. Attack. Tattle. Just because I can't really do anything else. Nice. I feel like I've already tattled at him before, though. Have I? I think so. Okay, I blocked it. Hammer. Nice. I did it. I could press ZL so Goombella could give me some advice. Good to know. Um, okay. I think flying is kind of like swimming in- Oh, never mind. I just answered my own question. I was about to say, um, I think flying in this game is kind of like swimming in Super Mario 64. But that's not the case. Um, how do I get that chest? I don't know. Anyways, I think I have to go this way. Because this looks different. Check. It's kind of soggy and majorly gross. Okay. Do I not go this way? Oh. Bloop. Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> Did that do something for me? I didn't mean to jump on it, but I was just jumping on it. Mega blooper. Okay. What's up with this blooper? Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just up and whack somebody's tootsies like that? <laughs> bloop, bloop. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some um, saucy mustache guy. Bloopity bloop, blue. He's in a world of hurt. I didn't know bloopers just speak by saying bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I never knew that. Uh, I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in the front. Can't flee this fight. Okay, well, I'm gonna die, by the way. Um, Y. There we go. Should I tattle first? Let's, let's tattle. Blooper. I 
That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S -S, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It, it attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and make seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. You got it. I'll make seafood out of it. Um, okay. They each have 3 HP? That was 2. Bloop bloop, hey mustache. You're thinking that tastes good, aren't you? Admit it. I don't like seafood, so I won't admit it. Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? Ew, no, I'd rather bloop. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, that wasn't bad. It was only 1 HP. I'm trying to block, by the way. I clicked the button, but it wasn't enough. Okay. Boom. That was one down. Okay. Almost there. Oh god. That went too fast. Let's go. Okay, it's tentacles or out of here, and then it falls, and then we could jump on its face. Yeah. That's how you roll. Okay. You have 8 HP left, so we're just gonna keep jumping on you. Because I like to jump. Okay, he's back up. Still going. Two more attacks, come on. If we do them perfect, it's two more. <gasps> oh, that was a perfect guard, oh my god. I don't know how much damage that would have done, but it looked bad. <laughs> it just looked really bad. Nice! Clear bonus, 50 coins! I'll take it. 20 star points. Awesome. I forget what those do, but that's cool. <laughs> Blub hoop! I just thought that bloopers never speak. I didn't know that they actually said bloop. I didn't know that that was like what they do. Okay. <laughs> I missed that jump. Uh, sorry, Goombella. Uh, sometimes I just forget how short of a jump Mario um, does. Paper Mario does not have good jumps. Ooh! Chapter 1, Castle and Dragon. So we, we uh, went through the prologue, right? I think... That was the end of the prologue. Castle and Dragon. Chapter 1 of the story. Petal Meadows. Oh snap, I totally forgot. It's been so long since I played this game that I totally forgot. Um, Sorry guys. Give me one sec. If I go like this. And then wait. I go like, hold on. I totally forgot what I was supposed to do before recording. It's my bad. Transform. Okay. Um, yeah, I totally forgot. For this gameplay, I do want my face cam to be in this corner. So that you guys can see what's in the other corner. Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. It is. Let me save here. So we're finally out of Rogueport. Finally. This place is nice. Rogueport is all eh, and this place is really pretty. Ha! <laughs> 
my god, look at their faces. Ooh, dragon. Whoa, what was that? I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go, again! Uh, why does this have a moon? It's got an indent as if you could put something in there. Wish I knew what this shape is supposed to be. It's obviously a moon. What are you talking about? Like, is that not a moon? It looks like a moon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I knew, know what a moon is shaped like. This rock kind of reminds me of a pipe. Okay, maybe it is a pipe. It's got an indent as if you could put something in there. Wish I knew what the shape is supposed to be. It's clearly... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's clearly a seven-pointed star. <laughs> Goombella, come on. Come on, Goombella. Oh. Look at that. I could just stomp on all this wheat. Awesome. They go back up, though. Okay, that's fine. Okay, a feel-good mushroom. I'll take it. Why does this bush have eyes? The world may never know. Look, at they blink. Why do they blink? I mean, obviously because their eyes, but like... Oh, dang it! I forgot I was supposed to do a thing. The star... The star points are the XP in po... Are the XP in Pokemon. If you reach 100, you level up. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, I didn't notice there was a spiky Goomba there, too. My bad. Um. There you go. I'm probably going to get more of these eventually, so I'm cool with just using this. I'm just destroying all of this wheat. Don't mind me. Oh! You got a close call badge. When Mario is at or below 5 HP in battle, foes will sometimes miss when something. I clicked the button when I wasn't supposed to. My bad. Oh, I did it. Nice. Done. He is out of here. Easy. So you could sometimes get coins from this wheat, so I'm just gonna keep whacking it, because I like coins. I like money. Give me all the money. Boom. He's out of here. Oh, look at that. My gauge is filled up. How do I use my gauge move? That's that's a thing, right? Give me that. It just becomes a an actual box. Alright. That's cool. Take that. Nice. Okay. What's up ahead? Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press ZL to ask for a hint. I'm full of good ideas, you know. Okay. Um, what do I do? Sometimes everything looks ordinary, then you hit something with your hammer and make a discovery. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. That's what you were telling me, actually. I'm gonna switch because I could attack this guy first, and then Mario attacks with a hammer, so you just you just gotta think before you do. Because if I did it the other way, then Goombella would have gotten hurt by the spike. Ow? Excuse you, dude. That hurt. Ooh, level up. Look at our audience. Use left stick to select the stat to increase. Oh, this is like a Super Mario RPG. Um, okay. I do like FP. I don't know what BP is. But I also like HP. Yeah, we'll, we'll go HP. I tend to fall in water a lot, so this will be helpful. That would have given me a lot of gauge points if I had, uh... If I had... What's it called? Used my gauge before? What's over here? Is there anything over here? No? There's a pipe in the background. How do I get to that? Oh! Cool. It's just what I wanted to do. Wow. Okay, this is gonna be hard to see. Where the heck is Goombella? Does she not come along with me? Oh my god! <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. Can I go this way? Nice! You got a star piece. I'll take it. Can I keep going? Okay, that's as far as you could go. BP is for using badges. The more BP, the more badges you can use. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, I just built a bridge. Oh, I got a mystery. Who knows what this does? Take a chance and find out. So, these bushes could be pushed down, I figured out. And so could the flowers. Oh, see? Look at I told you guys we'll get another fire flower. Told ya. Um, how do I use the mystery? The river running through here totally makes the air crisp and refreshing. I didn't mean to talk to you. Okay, I guess that's just if I click X, then it does that. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Mystery. Take a chance to find out. So I guess I have to do it in battle, looks like. Cool. Oh, so I do have the new close call badge I could use. When Mario is at or below 5 HP, Froze will sometimes miss. Let's try it. Let's try it out. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, Petalburg. Excuse me? <laughs> Wait, did Pokemon copy it from this game? <laughs> okay. Welcome, travelers. Petalburg is a very familiar city to me because I've watched that anime many times. <laughs> that particular one of the Hoenn region, I've watched that many times. Um, <laughs> where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. I'm sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. Yepity, once that dragon, Hooktail, was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it put it that way. People just stopped visiting. 
Dragon Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier. Mario! Oh, earlier Mario! Uh, so it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. Pfft. <laughs> By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm, nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. A pink house sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Goombella. Goombella. You cannot insult the color pink like that. Come on now. And aren't you pink? Isn't she literally the color pink? <laughs> Thanks for your help. A pink house sounds hideous. Wow, Goombella. Wow. I can't wait till we could replace Goombella. <laughs> wow, pink house is hideous. Uh, what's up? This good sir is an inn. Rooms are five coins per night. Care to stay in the night? Do I need to? I don't think I need to. Do come again. What's my HP at? How do I check? Is it minus? Okay, I think I just have 15. Um, okay. I could jump on your bed. What is this bed made out of? Is this cardboard? It's like, so rough. So rough looking and... Yeah, so like cube shaped. What's your deal? Top of the morning. Tis I, bubbler. Uh, no, bub, bubbleber, bubbleber, a bu, bubbleber, bubbleber, <laughs> bubble, bubbleber. <laughs> I am as happy as, as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Okay. Um, I mean that seems like a pretty good reason to be happy. Flowers are nice. <gasps> oh my god, you're so tiny! <laughs> hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. GBA. Hold on. Let me see if Siri knows. Who is the developer of Fire Emblem? Okay. Who is the- wait, Intelligent Systems. <laughs> the developer is Intelligent Systems, which also developed this game? <gasps> That's a cool little reference. Okay. I'm pretty sure GBA is like the publisher or something, but like, the fact that the developer of this game, and this toad tells you that, uh... Oh, I guess he doesn't s s tell you the developer, but... It says that Intelligent Systems developed this game, and so did it develop Fire Emblem. That's really cool. Uh, what's your deal? Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? No, 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 no. Not you, monsieur de la moustache. I'm speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. Mon petit ciao. Do you hear me, beautiful? Abandon this dollard and come away with me. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, <laughs> bozo the chump. Oh, oh, oh. Je, je sois blessé. I am wounded. Such brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue. I shall retreat for now. If you change your mind, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. <laughs> Hitting on Goombella. What is his deal? Oh, Hooktail? She lives at the top of that old castle beyond this hummock in Petal Meadows. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not a one has returned. So, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? Not really. Let me save here. Just in case. Somehow the game, like, decides to kick me out or something. Like, Dreamlight Valley. It could happen. Soon you will meet a new partner. Cool. Oh, GBA is short for Game Boy Advance Console. Makes sense. 
I was thinking it might be like a game console, but I just couldn't figure out what it was referring to. Um, I have one of these. I feel like I should maybe get more. It's acorn to a fire flower, sure. Um, what is this? Power block? Attacks all enemies and does two damage, flipping shelled enemies. Okay. I'll just take one of those. Um, courage shell. It's five coins for a courage shell. Temporarily gives a party member courage to boost their defense. No, no, I'm not really one of those kinds of players who likes to boost all of the stats. Mr. Softener temporarily softens up an enemy, decreasing their defense. A sweet snack restores 5 HP. Honey syrup. I'll definitely take that. I'll take a couple. Okay, and then mushroom. I definitely think I should take a few mushrooms. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that if I talk to people, I could use Goombella to tell me more about them. That's Nifty, the manager of the shop. You could buy and sell items in here. I gotta say, he reminds me of the guys in the Rogueport shop. Yeah, real similar. Hmm, maybe it's just me. Or maybe I should just not worry about it. Probably. That's a toe from Petalberg. He seems to have a negative outlook on most things. He also seemed seems freaked out by everything around him. Poor little guy. Hey, did you happen to pick up any power blocks on your way here? If not, you'll notice that they've got them for sale right here, hint hint. Lucky for you that you stopped by unless you enjoy getting clobbered to denim clab smithereens, that is. Alright. Um, what is this way? What's your deal? That's General White the Babam. I guess white babams are pretty rare. Yeah, I've never seen one before, like at all. They kind of just disappeared from the Mario universe. He has a cool mustache too. He might even give your lip fuzz a run for its money. Hut! I am General White. I am a babam, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Okay. What can you tell me about this guy? Ew! What's with this guy, huh? It crosses me out just being near this wood, this weirdo. Alright, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet talk everybody. There, no more. Alright. Um, is this the pink house they're talking about? It's just a pink roof. When they said pink house, I thought the walls would be made out of pink material, but I guess it's just the roof. Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in this room is a one-of-a-kind collectible. Wait, is this not the pink house? <laughs> um, okay. Why do you have posters of Princess Peach? You should buy a power block. Didn't I? Hold on, I think I already did. Uh, how do I look? Uh, yeah, I have a power block. I have one. Mm. Where did they say that the person was? Is it further ahead or what? Uh, make yourselves at home. Okay, I guess none of these are the pink house they're talking about. So, let's move on. Oh, that's definitely the pink house. See, I knew it would be made out of, like, pink wood. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail, she's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. These guys remind me of Pikmin. Is that where their inspiration came from? Boy, this, the mayor has been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried since the old guy forgets my name from time to time. Look at this house. Look how perfect this house looks. And Goombella's like, eh, it looks gross. Pink house. <laughs> gross. Um. <laughs> oh my god, I want this house. Uh, what's up? 
That's Croup, the mayor of Petalburg. He just babbles whether he's alone or not. I just can't tell if he's really senile or if he's just working that angle, you know? Hmm? What was that? Somebody there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you're thieves! Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. Go on, do what you will, but as you complain and see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait. You folks are looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you... Uh... You... You idiot? You... You idiot? What does idiot mean? <laughs> We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars, you say you're hunting. Um, wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? Ah, got it, Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's this enormous, ornery dragon, eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all of us on pins and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough her up? What? Hold on now. <laughs> oh, it sounds promising. Why, if you can get rid... If you could rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? <laughs> I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? It's Mario. Murphy? <laughs> That's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well, now, Murphy. It's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now, listen up. If you're intent on going to Hooktail Castle, find the secret pipe that's located somewhere in Petal Meadows. I know you need the Sunstone and the Moonstone to use that pipe. Sunstone, Moonstone, Petalburg. How many Pokemon references are we getting? <laughs> The stones are somewhere in Shwork Fortress? Is that? <laughs> no. Shwank. Shwank Fortress? Just past the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy. Get going and really wallop that hooktail monster. <laughs> <laughs>